Jonathan Harker, a solicitor from England, travels to Transylvania to discuss a property deal with the wealthy nobleman, Count Dracula. He keeps a journal of his travels. Upon arriving in Romania, he stops for the night at an inn, where he samples the local foods and receives a letter from the Count, welcoming him to the region and informing him of a carriage which will collect him the following day to take him the rest of the way. Before leaving the inn in the morning, the innkeeper's wife approaches him, places a crucifix around his neck and tells him, Tomorrow is the day when all evil things in the world will have full sway. Harker is slightly shaken by the exchange, but continues his journey regardless. As he leaves the inn, he overhears some patrons using the unfamiliar term vampire, while stealing glances in his direction. He goes to the location described in the Count's letter and awaits his transport. A small, horse-drawn carriage approaches and Harker tentatively climbs aboard. The journey is eerie and by the time they arrive at their destination, Harker is quite spooked. Along the way, the landscape seemed to repeat. The sound of wolves could be heard and Harker witnessed what looked like multiple strange blue flames, which his peculiar driver took a particular interest in. He is left alone at the entrance to a grand, but somewhat ruined and ominous castle. After a long wait, a tall, old man, dressed in black, with a large white moustache, emerges from within and greets Jonathan. You must be Mr. Harker. Welcome to my castle. I am Dracula. He reaches out and shakes Jonathan's hand. His grip is firm and cold. Harker also notes his extremely pale skin, slightly pointed ears, and remarkably sharp teeth, and is filled with unease. Despite all this, he finds the Count's manner warm and charming. Come, we have much to discuss. I have prepared a meal and a warm fire. The Count ushers him inside. The next day, Harker is left alone in the castle and explores a little, noticing all the finery within, but also the fact that there are no mirrors to be found. Dracula joins him for dinner and they discuss the property deal as well as the legends and superstitions of the local area. Yes, there are many evil spirits in Transylvania, Mr. Harker. They talk long into the night, and as daybreak approaches, the Count makes excuses and quickly leaves. The following day, Jonathan Harker is shaving with the aid of a small travel mirror. Dracula enters the room and Harker is startled by him, causing him to cut himself slightly. He realises that the reason for his surprise was due to no reflection being cast by Dracula. As soon as blood appears from the cut on Harker's throat, the Count lunges toward him, but recoils when his hand comes into contact with the crucifix around Jonathan's neck. Harker is shocked, and Dracula grabs a hold of his shaving mirror, warns him, You should have been more careful, Mr. Harker, and casts the mirror out of the window before leaving. Rattled by the whole experience, Harker explores the castle again, finding every door locked, and realising he is a prisoner. Now scared by his host, Harker attempts to appear calm when they meet that evening. Over dinner, the Count tells him, I have made arrangements for you to stay for the month, Mr. Harker. Although I must insist, you only ever sleep in the room that I have had prepared for you. With no choice, Harker agrees, before excusing himself to his room for the night, where he hangs his crucifix over his bed. Later in the night, he looks from his window to see the Count crawling up the castle walls. He wonders how he will ever escape this nightmare. A few evenings later, Harker forces one of the locked doors open to find three beautiful women and is overtaken with lust. They move toward him, exposing sharp teeth from blood-red lips, 
one leans her mouth to contact Harker's neck. But as it does, Dracula appears and scolds them. When I am done with him, you shall kiss him at your will. He hands them a bag. I know you're disappointed, but please accept this. There is a small child within. It is half smothered. As he hears these words, Harker's consciousness fades. And when he awakes, he is unsure if the previous events had been real or a dream. A few days later, Dracula gives Harker an order. You will write letters to your fiancé and employer, informing them that you have left the castle and are on your way home. Harker agrees, and while writing these letters, he hears a group of gypsies arrive at the castle. Through the bars of his window, he talks to one and requests that she take a secret letter from him to send to his fiancée, Mina Murray. That evening, Dracula approaches Harker with his secret letter in hand. Mr. Harker, this letter is a vile outrage upon my friendship and hospitality. The Count then burns it in front of him. Weeks later, Harker sees the gypsies again, delivering large wooden boxes to the castle. He notices that some of his clothes are missing, and that evening witnesses Dracula wearing them, once again crawling along the walls of the castle. He is holding a bag, similar to the one he gave the three women weeks before. Harker realises that it wasn't a dream, and that the Count is undertaking unspeakable acts. Shortly after, a woman approaches the castle, wailing for a missing child. She is torn apart by wolves. Later, Harker climbs down a castle wall to a part of the residence he has not explored before. He finds a passage and follows it to a room full of boxes, the ones delivered by the gypsies. He opens one and finds Dracula laying within it. Unsure whether the Count is dead or asleep, Harker flees back to his room in terror. Eventually, after weeks of imprisonment, Dracula tells Jonathan, Mr. Harker, you may leave tomorrow. But Jonathan requests to leave today instead. The Count opens the castle door and motions toward it. Then leave now, if you wish. Jonathan runs out the door to be confronted by a snarling pack of wolves. He returns to his room. That night, he overhears voices and opens the door to his room slightly. He sees Dracula talking to the three irresistible women that Jonathan had previously encountered. Tonight is mine. Tomorrow night is yours. Dracula tells them. Harker retreats back into his room and prays. In the early hours of the morning, Harker scales the wall again, returns to the passage he had found, and back to the room with the boxes. He opens the same box he had before, and again sees the Count within. His appearance is more youthful, and there is a small trail of blood running from the corner of his mouth. Harker picks up a nearby shovel, and in an attempt to slay the Count, plunges it towards him. It connects to his forehead, but brushes off, doing no damage at all. Harker flees the room. He takes some of the Count's gold and decides to make a final attempt at escape by climbing down the castle walls. Before he does so, he makes a final entry in his journal. It reads, Goodbye all, Mina. <laughs>